Welcome to Food Trends TV. I'm everyday innovator Dana McCauley, and today I want to introduce you to an emerging health food, tiger nuts. Now, if you grew up in post-war UK, you are familiar with tiger nuts because they were very popular then when there were still food shortages. And if you've been to Spain or are from Spain, you're familiar with chapa, which is the Spanish name for tiger nuts. And in Spain, they're most often used as um, a ground up ingredient in the very popular, very healthy drink horchata. So what's all the fuss about? Why tiger nuts? Why now? Well, they appeal to a number of different health uh, profile consumers. If you are a paleo diet follower, they are very enticing because they have been around since the days of the caveman. And there's even some anecdotal stories about a group of people who survived on them for many, many years as their staple food. And if you're someone who's into whole nutrition and wanting to get uh, as many nutrients as possible out of the ingredients you put into your food, they uh, are a very appealing ingredient. Tiger nuts have a very similar nutrient profile to human breast milk. So that means they're high in potassium and magnesium, iron, vitamin C, vitamin E, and needless to say, infants uh, subsist on breast milk for months on end. So that is a pretty complete food. Now, Oh, what do you do with tiger nuts? I know you're like, okay, so how do I get in on this? Basically, you can eat them as a snack on their own, and there's lots of products like that turning up. They can be ground up into a flour that can be used in a number of ways, including smoothies and um, stirred into yogurt and that type of use. Then there's smart food companies who are starting to turn them into cereals and uh, other products. Tiger nuts. Not much to look at, uh, but they are apparently quite delicious and uh, certainly good for us. Now, the good news for people with nut allergies is that they are not a nut. They're actually a tuber, and uh, that means that they're grown like a potato or a tulip. They're grown underneath the ground and uh, are harvested and then dried out. Let me ask you, tiger nuts, are you curious to try them or are they just too ugly to appeal to you? Tell me in the comment section below. And if you haven't already subscribed to Food Trends TV, I hope you will because we have lots more great episodes coming in the next few weeks.